What's up guys, this is Knife of Dreams or Jesse here bringing you, finally, a Skyrim gameplay video. Uh, I know it's been, well, over a week since the uh, game came out. Uh, I was initially going to give you like a first thoughts video, but then I realized, you know, there's going to be tons of people doing that, and uh, that's just really not what I want to do because you're going to see those everywhere, so... I decided that um, I'd play the game a little, or in this case a lot, and then, you know, tell you some of the things I've done and show you my character and all the stuff I've done. Um, so yeah, I decided to start out in my house. This is the first house you can buy in Whiterun. Uh, bookshelf filled on the top shelf. I got Dawnbreaker, which is a sword you get from one of the uh, Daedric Shrine quests, and Ghost Blade, which is a legendary or special uh, ancient Nord sword. I've got all the furnishings for my house, as you can see. My little alchemy table back here, which I barely ever use. Uh, let's go upstairs. And in my bedroom. This is my chest where I keep basically just my dragon stuff, my ton of dragon bones and dragon scales. Uh, I still have Lydia. Uh, she is wearing the ebony mail, which is another item you get from a Daedric Shrine quest. Uh, Boethia, I think it is. It's actually really helpful, uh, because it does like five points of poison damage or something like that when the enemy is near them. And then uh, I keep some of my other stuff in this chest down here. My uh, crosses, or my dragon priest mask. My other one, I'm wearing the first one I got. Daedric helmet, because it looks badass. Uh, blazer, just a ebony blade that I named. And enchanted with fire. Uh, drain heart sword, which looks just like the ghost blade, except it does a different effect. And the Staff of Magnus, which you get from doing the, uh, the College of Winterhold quest line, which I've actually completed. I'm now the, uh, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. Well, this is the quest I'm working on right now, though. It's, uh, it's for the Shrine of, like, per Perite. Perry, I, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, it's not a Daedric uh, god that I've heard of before, so I don't know if it actually is one, but I just happened to come across it when I was um, heading to get the uh, Lover Standing Stone. And for those of you that don't know, the Lover Standing Stone uh, increases all skills 15% faster, so it's nearly as good as... Uh, the mage, the thief, and the warrior stones, except it goes across all skills, so I would actually consider it better. But, um, I'm level 34, you can see in the bottom there, so yes, I have played the game quite a bit. I, uh, classify myself as a battle mage, and you can see I have 62 one-handed, uh, 48 light armor. I should be using heavy armor, I just, I've always liked light armor better. Uh, 51 lock picking, I just pick every lock I can find. 32 Conjuration, which is, I, I only had the Conjure, uh, Flame Atronach spell, I don't know how to get the, uh, I haven't found any other ones, so, except for Conjure Familiar, but that one's not that good. 83 Destruction, I use that a lot. Uh, 50 Restoration, trying to get that up there. I want to unlock some of the other perks, like, uh, the Avoid Death one. It's kind of hard to navigate these stars on an Xbox 360 controller, so. And the Necromage would be very helpful, so that I can kill undead quicker. Uh, 63 enchanting. I, um, oh here, I'll show you. I have 100 smithing first, and the best way to increase your smithing is just make iron daggers. They give you just as much experience as any other uh, thing you can smith. And then enchanting, I got that so high so that I could enchant my weapons with more powerful enchantments like fire, since I uh, 
actually consider myself a frost mage, which isn't, wasn't a very good idea, considering I'm in Skyrim, and a lot of things are immune or resistant to frost. But I get by with it, and it's actually quite helpful in this game because it drains the enemy's stamina, so they can't chase after you as quickly, like they can't sprint after you, they have to kind of jog. But, uh, yeah, I'm only missing vampire dust for this, uh, shrine quest. And I was told I could find vampires in this broken fang cave, so I'm gonna go in here. Hopefully kill myself a vampire, and then I will have all the stuff I need for that shrine. So far though, this game is, well, well beyond my expectations actually for it. Uh, I have hundreds of hours into Oblivion, and I, uh, I loved it, but uh, Skyrim, I don't know, something something clicked with me and I didn't think I'd like it as much as Oblivion but I'm it's turning out that I'm liking it more maybe because it's just a newer game but uh I mean the visuals are amazing that's that's obvious <laughs> just like them once oh, these skeletons are pretty weak um and no I'm not playing on the easiest difficulty it's just my spells are pretty, uh, pretty powerful. Oh yeah, I also have the perk that, um, has a chance of paralyzing someone when I uh, hit him with a frost spell, so that's, that's helpful too. Ooh, Master Vampire. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't do a whole lot of execution, so it's pretty uh, surprising when that happens. Um, and nothing good here. I'll probably come back to this cave later for, um, just for looting it and stuff. Actually, I have gotten nowhere in the main quest. I am, I just met the Greybeards and I'm level 34, I know. I, um, I've actually been exploring a lot. I'll pull up my map here, and you can see, when I when I first started the game, I went to the College of Winterhold, because I wanted to be a mage, and I explored, like, the northeast region completely, and then I went south a little bit from there, and now I'm starting to head uh, more western and cover the areas over by Solitude, and a little bit of the uh, southwestern areas. Let me get rid of that marker. Alright, but I, I have my vampire dust so I can head back to this uh, shrine again. It's actually, I, it's not like a, yeah, I don't think it's a dangerous shrine because it's actually like a tree instead of a, instead of a shrine of depicting a, a god, so, there we go. And lucky me, there was a, a dragon wall right next to it, so, uh, yeah, deciding to go for the uh, Lover Stone turned out to be a great idea since I got a few extra things along the way that I wasn't expecting. Uh, I don't know if any of my other friends have uh, completed this quest, so I have no idea what a reward, if any, there is for it, but I'm hoping for something cool. Hello, Cash. Alright, let's see what he's going to do. Yeah, this is the shrine right here. That should do it. Now, inhale deeply. Oh, trippy. I would have you hear me well. So let these vapors feel your lungs. I have watched you for some time, you know. The decisions you've made intrigue me. And what is that? I wonder if you are the proper agent for a task of mine. Ooh, yeah, a task. 
It sounds like a Daedra Shrine. I don't know, it might be. I sent a blessing to Mundus. A wasting plague that infected a scattering of Breton villages. One of my monks, the elf or Chenji, was sent to gather these afflicted. He shepherded them into Bathardos for me. I really want to figure out how to pronounce that. Lost his way. His name. Periite. I will not stand I don't know. for betrayal. I want you to go to Bathardos and kill or change him in my mind. Oh yeah, you get to kill someone. What did he do? Christian, the elf must die. Either carry out my will or do not. You can at least tell me what he did. Doesn't really matter. I would kill him anyways just so I could complete the quest, but I want to know what he did. The pettiness of mortals. I had almost forgotten. I can grant you a powerful token for this task. An escutcheon of Dweamer make, capable of shielding you from both the spell and sword. Return when the elf lies dead, and it will be yours. All right, sorry, I was kind of interrupted there. Um, so you where was I? Still talking to this guy, Spirit. Kill and he's still telling me to kill o Orchendor. Whoa. You know, I almost liked the world better when it was all colorful like that. <laughs> it's probably not even some kind of spirit. It's probably like some kind of drug trip that the guy just sent me on. All right. Oh, he's not that far away. Must be like some kind of room that I have to visit. Let me show you my gear. Actually, I haven't done that yet. Uh, last sword, legendary. I called it Scorching Blade because I'm. I don't know. I always have to name my uh items but it does a 53 damage and it burns target for 10 points I enchanted that myself obviously it does so much damage if you were wondering why it does 53 because uh, even after well because I have 100 smithing I can uh, increase it to legendary or upgrade it to legendary which allows me to uh, or which is the highest that you can get a weapon or armor upgraded to, and then even after you upgrade it to legendary, you can upgrade it further. The name still says legendary after that, though, but you can increase the damage or the or the uh, defensive capabilities if you're using armor. So that's why that's so high. And I have my boots that um, increase my one-handed attack strength by 31%, also enchanted by me. And then I found this sweet bow, it's a glass bow of expelling after uh, killing a dragon in a chest right next to the wall. Summon Daedra up to level 20 or sent back to Oblivion. Basically, like, Frost Atronax, Storm Atronax, anything summoned that I can... I just have to shoot them once and they instantly disappear. It's pretty sweet. I'll demonstrate that for you in a second. And then I'm using the Archmage robes, which you get from completing College of Winterhold. Uh, these are awesome for anyone who considers themselves to use magic a lot. Uh, 
If she can't read that, it says all spells 15% less to cast, plus 50 Magicka, and Magicka regenerates 100% faster. But it offers zero armor, so uh, that's why I find myself healing quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> these are Dragon Scale Boots. I nicknamed them Buttes, <laughs> because I was... I could not think of a creative name for them. And then, yeah, I just enchanted them with uh, one-handed damage. And then I'm rocking a regular gold ring that increases my health. Uh, mage gauntlets that increase my magic by 40 points. These are dragon scale gauntlets as well. Morokai, uh, dragon priest mask that you get from uh, doing College of Winterhold quest line. This also makes my magic regenerate 100% faster. And then Savos Harn's Amulet, which increases my magic by 50 points. <clears throat> if you were wondering that uh, if it really matters that you can go above 100% um, Magicka regeneration, yes, it does matter. I actually, uh, I, I used my magic. I tested this out. I used my magic all the way until there was zero left, and then I used a stopwatch on my phone to... Uh, time how fast it took to regenerate with just 100% and then I equipped the second item at 200% and it was it was like 6 seconds faster for all my magic to regenerate so uh, yes it does matter and you can go above 100% which is pretty cool but here I'll show you, I'll demonstrate what my bow does and I only have 28 archery or something like that so uh, yeah I probably wouldn't kill this in one hit normally but there's a flame atronach I just summoned and if I shoot it once See, it teleports it back into oblivion, and I just lost my ebony arrow. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. And then here's my favorites list, which is excessively long. Um, I only use, like, five things on there over and over, yet I keep everything else on there, since I use it very rarely. I can... I, I, it's ever-expanding, my favorites list. It just... I don't know. I, I always add stuff to it, so... Yeah, at the, uh, when I first started the game, I refused to fast travel anywhere because I know I felt that ruined the game for me in Oblivion because I was never, like, you know, going out and exploring, so I told myself, don't fast travel anywhere for the first, like, 20 hours of gameplay, and that's why I had so many areas discovered and so many people, or so many things killed. But, uh, I wonder where this place is at. If you guys want to see what shouts I have, um, pull them up right here quick. And my game, decide to autosave now of all times. Alright, shouts. I have become ethereal, which, uh, makes you invulnerable, basically. It's, uh, it's really fun if you, uh, jump off mountains and shit and use that, because then you can't take damage and it actually creates pretty sweet shortcuts or helps with a disarm which just uh, disarms your enemy obviously elemental fury increases the speed of my melee attacks fire breath and frost breath are self-explanatory ice form turns the enemy into ice kind's peace uh, just uh, makes enemies not hostile marked for death it uh, makes enemies weaker and their arm armor uh, less effective. Slow time, self-explanatory again. Throw voice. I have not figured out what this does. I tried unlocking it and uh, I, um, yeah, I have eight dragon souls because since I'm a destruction mage, I, um, I figured that like ice breath and stuff like that wouldn't really be helpful for me, so I just used the defensive ones like become ethereal and slow time. But, um, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, throw voice. I have no idea what it does. I tried unlocking all three levels of it and I couldn't figure it out. And then I have, uh, of course, Unrelenting Force and Whirlwind Sprint, which you get through the main quest, so most of you probably know what that is. But there you can see I demonstrated uh, Become Ethereal. I jumped off that mountain and took no damage at all. So let's go find this bastard. I hope this, uh, hope this Dweemer rune isn't too big kind of want to finish this quickly and this video is getting near the 
Ooh, Ebony Shield. Getting near the uh, 20 minute mark. Jeez. Steel Sword did 22 points of ice damage. Yeah, I'm also one of those people that has to check every single container, so uh, that can get pretty boring to watch, I'm sure. Oh, jeez. I know what that looks like. <laughs> Just like the stuff that they had me inhale at the shrine. Huh. Sweet, I can disenchant that later. Maybe gain an enchanting level from doing that. Yes. <laughs> gain an enchanting level from disenchanting. Mmm. Nah, I want to go this way. Normally I would force myself to go off the beaten path, but for the sake of the video and wanting to complete this shrine quest, I'm gonna go where it tells me to. Well, it's no big deal, I just have an 8 foot ice spike sticking out of my hand. <laughs> I wonder what he dropped. Oh, a mace. Lame. <laughs> I had no idea where she went for a second there. Well, seems like my target was not here. Let me bring up a healing spell quick. Oh yeah, I also have the perk that makes healing spells restore my uh, stamina too, which is very, very helpful. Uh, especially if you use a melee weapon quite a bit. You know, this gate is locked at depth, and there's only one chest in there. Kind of tempted to do it, but I'll come back to that. I'll just backtrack through this ruin later after I, uh... Kill the guy I'm supposed to kill. Jeez. I wasn't expecting this many people to be here. So I'm going to take out my Icy Spear spell. Go Ethereal because they're using Shock so they're draining my magic. Then I'll get up close and hammer them with my sword. Or slice them. <laughs> Guess you don't really hammer with a sword. I have way too many lockpicks. I don't even know why I keep picking them up. I don't need that many. I have like 70. I only ever break like three if it's on a difficult lock. But they don't weigh anything, so. I guess it's fine. I don't know if there's a skeleton key in this game. You guys know? Not sure. Oh, geez, I just looked at my computer and it said 22 and a half minutes. So, um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it short here. Uh, sorry that there wasn't a whole lot of gameplay in this video. Um, I know I did just a lot of describing and showing off my character and some of my stuff, but, uh, I'll include a second part where I finish this quest for you guys, so, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, keep tuned for part two.